Good evening, family and friends of Sergeant Gibran Knox laid the fallen soldier to rest today in Fort Wayne. He was killed in action in Afghanistan a week and a half ago. News Channel 15's Megan Royce takes us to the funeral. Indiana Patriot Guard riders lined the driveway of the National Military History Center in Auburn paying their respects to Sergeant Gibran Knox for giving the ultimate sacrifice. We're just honored to be able to be a part of it. Uh, it lets the family know that somebody that somebody cares, you know, somebody besides the military and somebody besides the government. When their community rallies around them, I think it's very important in the healing process. Knox was only 23 years old, a newlywed and father to his infant son. But his family says he accomplished many things. He put his all into everything he did. Always putting others before himself. The 23 year old uh, has created a lasting memory for a lot of people in our community, obviously, and as a role model of our community for a long time to come. The mood at his funeral was somber. Many reflected on his life. Hearing Knox's story hits close to home for Russ Bauer, a Patriot Guard writer. I have a young son stationed at Fort Lewis McCord as well, and uh, he has a new baby, and he's going to Afghanistan. So for me, this is, and his, and his mother, who's also a veteran, this is very difficult for us. Although Bauer never met Knox, he says they're bonded together. Several say the fallen hero left his mark on the small town. I'll be visiting Gibran many times in the future. That's about the best way I can put it. He touched a lot of lives very deep when he'll be very, very, very missed in the future. In Auburn, Megan Royst, News Channel 15. Knox was laid to rest today at Highland Park Cemetery here in Fort Wayne after the funeral in Auburn. His family asks that memorials be made either to the Wounded Warriors program or in the name of his son, Braylon Knox, at PNC Bank in Auburn.